Good afternoon, Jürgen. Um, Hello. How is the squad this week? Is there an update on perhaps who might be unavailable? And can you tell us whether maybe Fabinho or Naby Keita might be fit to return this weekend? Um, so, Naby trained yesterday with the team, so we have to see what we make of it. Um, eh, um, no, Fab was not in training. No, all the others as well. Not, no, nothing really new. So they all get closer. Fab gets closer. Millie gets closer. Um, Diogo gets closer, but not close enough for the weekend. In the last time, uh, last game out, Ozan Kabak and Alisson earned plenty of praise for their performance. Neither had particularly easy matches, I think it's fair to say, last time out in the Premier League. But I just wonder, for your aspirations this year of finishing in the top four, how important will it be that you are able to find and rediscover that defensive solidity, which has, I suppose, characterised a lot of your time at the club? <laughs> yes, that's very important. You're right. It's very important that we that we can um, that we defend as a unit um, on our highest level, highest possible level, and um, so because it's, everybody knows that how how, how important um, the defense in general is for for being successful, and it's in our case not differently. So um, and that's why uh, very very important. So the the Leipzig game was a really good a, a really good sign that we can deal. Uh, with misunderstandings that we can deal with mistakes from the game before, uh, because um, no, we we played a, a really good game um, in a defensive part of the game for sure against a really tricky side. Um, you can struggle a lot against them, and we will probably realize that when we play them next time. Um, but for that night, we did really well as a unit, and that helped. And you faced a lot of questions this year about Mo Salah's form and his scoring record, but scoring against Leipzig in midweek took him to 24 for the season, which is more than he scored last year when you were sweeping him before you. Do you think he's, is he just held to a higher standard? Is that perhaps why sometimes he doesn't necessarily, perhaps this year, got the credit he maybe has been due? So you have to, you don't have to ask me why he, if, why he doesn't get the credit so if he doesn't get the credit, I don't know. Um, because it would be really strange and would be really, would be really un, un, unexplainable why he shouldn't get the credit. So he gets the credit here internally for sure. So um, for all these things, he's you know, he played an outstanding game against um, against Leipzig, and not only because he scored. No, in all the other in all the other parts, my, my actually my favorite moment in the game, especially in a knockout game. But I would say it's one of my favorite situations in general was when he won the heading challenge in the own box. Like after 87 minutes or something like that, when Angelina was in, in his back and, and wanted to, to volley the ball in. So, um, yes, he played an outstanding game and I, I, he gets all the respect from us. If you don't give him the right amount of respect, you have to ask yourself why that's the case. But there's no, the numbers and the performances cannot be the reason. Okay, fantastic. Let's go to uh, Simon Crabtree from PLP and then we'll go to uh, Ian from Talksport after that. Hi, can I just, you know, with the injuries there, can I just double check on Alisson because he wasn't on uh, pictures, I think, this week. Oh, no, he's so fine. people are putting. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's fine. He's okay. Yeah, he's fine. Uh, and just in terms of maybe physically fine, mentally, is he still okay? Yeah. I say that because he's obviously he's made three errors leading to goals in the last two, which is almost as many in the previous 85. His save percentage has, has dropped a lot, but um, sh looking at your face, I can see the confidence from you in him is there as well. <coughs> yeah, of course. My, my, my confidence, um, um, that didn't, that nothing changed in that, and, and if we talk about Alison. But we are all human beings, and uh, Ali as well, and he showed that in, in, in the last two games. And um, so that's how it is. It's not a problem. And of course, it's, it's, it's work. But most of the work you have to do with yourself. And he's doing that, definitely. It's not about telling him, oh, come on, Ali, you're a world-class goalie. He knows that. So that, but he doesn't get up in the morning and looks in the mirror and think, what I see is a world-class goalie. So if you, have a, if, you have a, if you made a mistake in the game before, in the previous games, if you want, then it's nothing you like. And that we all, humans are all the same. Um, and Ali's too smart to ignore it completely. So uh, other other personalities who maybe um, <laughs> would not struggle. But the, yeah, it's completely normal. But in the end, 
uh, we can rely and he can rely on his quality again as well, on his on his attitude, on his um, on his um, yeah, <coughs> how focused he is in a game, how much he how, how much he dips in a game really, and 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 is in it and all these kind of things. So no, I I had was not one second and out. Ali for sure had not the best time between the two games. That's how it is. But uh, the Leipzig game was a really good one to get back, and um, there we are now. And I spoke to a, a former player who's played many Merseyside derbies over the year, and he said in in his early days, Everton found themselves almost overawed by Liverpool. He looked, they looked at the Liverpool team and felt almost beaten be, before they came on the pitch. But this is the fifth different manager you'll have faced now in a Merseyside derby. Has has Carlo Ancelotti maybe brought them closer to you than they've ever been in the... Because they've never beaten you since you've been a manager at Liverpool. Are they closer now than ever before? They had good teams over the years. In the, in the specific games, it was most of the time close, I think. Um, yeah, but that the manager like Carlo helps each team in the world, it was clear beforehand. So before he did it, they had a really good squad, a really good team. Um, and so, yeah, maybe they are closer than ever before, but um, I'm, that's actually, I don't know. Yeah, from the uh, position on the table, for sure. Um, uh, that's a while ago that we were that close, I think. I don't even know that exactly. Um, but um, yeah, that's it. Yes, probably closer as they've been ever before. OK, great. We'll go to Ian and then we'll go to Carl Markham and we'll finish with Per from uh, Norway. Ian. Hi Jürgen, how are you? Good. Good. Um, when you look back on the season, be it now or be it at the end of the season, will the, the first game at Goodison, where you lost Virgil van Dijk to injury, will that be where you think that was when our title chance really went? I don't know what I will think back when, I, when the season is over, to be honest. Um, I hope I will think about something nicer um, than about this. But I, I don't know what I will think about. But that it was a, um, yeah, a, a dis, uh, how can I say, it? an important day? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Thanks, Ian. Carl Markham from Press Association and Perth from TV2 Norway, I think. Carl. Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Just on, on that point, you said it was an important day. How much do you think it impacted on the players that day and... How much does that carry over to tomorrow? Nothing will be carried to tomorrow. Uh, so if it, that's how it is. A, a week, a week later, two weeks later, whatever, three weeks later, when we got a diagnosis and all these kind of things, said we, 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 it was good that we didn't play Everton immediately again. Let me say it like this: That's how it is. We are all human beings, and of course, it was not nice. But um, now that's long gone, and um, we don't. <laughs> Just don't think about that anymore. The, um, but we, we, it's a derby; it's still a derby, and um, that's enough for being uh, motivated on the absolute highest level and um, trying to play the best possible football you can play. And that's it, pretty much. Okay, can I just ask one again on, on Nabi? You've, you've taken your time with him getting him back, and it's been two months. I know it's, it's just out. no, it's just unlucky. It's a, Nabi, Nabi could have been in the squad against Leipzig, but it didn't make sense because he only trained two days with the team. So we saw, we said, then come on. So I'm in the squad, not bringing him on. So we said, stay at home, train two days, proper training session. Unfortunately, Nabi got ill a little bit, so couldn't train these two days. So now, like yesterday, we reintegrated him again. So I just don't know. If we don't hold him back or whatever, we just, of course, after the, the injuries he had, um, we don't want to force him in or something like that, but it would be nice to have him. But we, I cannot... Is he able to play a few minutes on on Saturday? I don't know. If he's not, if we, if we speak about it and um, he's not, should rather better not play a few minutes... It's better to stay away from the team and just train proper, proper, because in, a, in the being around on the bench, that's not the most intense things, and he needs um, getting used to intensity again. And so, no decision made yet, but he, he is now f he's not injured anymore, and now we have to uh, figure out how fit he is to play how many minutes. Fantastic. Okay, and then final question from Per. Hi again. Hi. Hi. I just, I just wanted to ask you about your new man, uh, Osan Kabak, uh, who played a, a really solid game on, on Tuesday. What do you think about him so far and, and, and also how do you rate his potential? Oh, big potential. Huh? 20 years old already, 
pretty experience to be honest um it didn't take the easy the easy way in his career so far um when you are at istanbul and can play for one of the biggest teams probably in the world and being always around the top of the table and then you go to stuttgart and you go to schalke and all these kind of things so you have to fight really hard to to win a football game so that's good for from a from an education development point of view um so now he's here and Yeah, looks really promising. Looks really promising that both games were were really solid. Yes, we all know what in the hap- in the Leicester game happened, but around this situation or maybe the two situation, he played there already a really solid game. Not to forget against who we played that day. It, it was um, number two in the Premier League or three. So that's a that's a tough one with the strikers they have and all these kind of things. So no, he did really well. Um, long may it continue.